So today we're going to be talking about the first day that you arrive at your school. It is a beautiful, beautiful moment, but there's like I'm also a, really nervous. Yeah, there's like <laughs> literally 10 billion things that could happen slash go wrong. <laughs> so we thought we'd just walk you through the process. When you first get to school, you will probably have to greet the principal and the admin office. Um, now, just a disclaimer, like, of course, every school is different. So we're going to talk about what, what we, we did. did on our first day of yeah. school. Yeah. So like, actually what we did was even different. Yeah, it was different. But probably you will have to greet the principal and the vice principal and like the office people. At orientation, they will teach you in your Korean class how to formally greet your principal. So just like try to remember like that little Korean. If you know no Korean, try to remember at least how to greet your principal. So then they'll be very impressed. They're very easily impressed. Yeah. <laughs> if you're polite and you know bow, you're happy. halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do this on my first day. I did this on my second day, but most likely you'll have to do some sort of broadcast. Um, and mine was like televised across the school. So like every morning, every like Monday morning, like the students sit in class and there's like a big TV and they have the broadcast room. And I had to give like a speech and I just said it all in English because I was so like, what? <laughs> speech. <laughs> um, make sure you look nice guys. First impressions count because yeah, that's true. Yeah, I made sure I look, I was like in a nice dress, my hair, I did, like brushed it. <laughs> yeah. And I would say for like the first couple of weeks, dress nice to school because one, you don't know when randomly you're gonna have to like greet someone new, especially when you're just starting out. But then after that, you can like get a feel of what your school vibe is. Yeah, so because some schools are like super casual on how they dress and some schools are actually more stringent. I know middle school teachers, they have to dress up a little bit more mm -hmm. versus like us in elementary school, I'll just like walk through in a sweater and jeans so mm -hmm. it just depends okay and then you definitely will probably definitely probably <laughs> that doesn't make sense <laughs> you will probably have to have an introduction powerpoint to show your students on uh, maybe not your first day but the first class that you have with your students you'll probably um need like a 10 minute powerpoint of um just like who you are where you're from uh, maybe like show some pictures of your family or if you have pets, they love pets. If you have like a basketball court at your house, a basketball period. <laughs> if you have a basketball, take a picture. A pool, like <laughs> yeah, if they, you have a pool, they yeah, go crazy. They, love that. They, they only have like apartments here, really, or small houses. So, like, if you have like a yard, they mm -hmm. lose their mind. I mean, I don't, but like. I've seen, I've shown them houses with it and yeah. they are impressed. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's also fun within the PowerPoint if you um, do like make it interactive. So if you have like a few slides of like two truths and a lie and they have to like guess which one is the lie about you, that's always fun. Yeah. Or how I made my PowerPoint was I wrote like I'm from Ding Ding and then had like a picture as a prompt and they would just like guess. And I had that for like every PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Just like make it fun for them. They're like really excited to meet you. Mm -hmm. So most likely you'll have to like, there, there's probably like a meeting or something that will be held at like some point in the early stages when you get there. And it's usually just like the regular teacher's meeting, but like they'll use it as a time for you to greet yourself. And again, I was like, I, they literally told me how to do this maybe five minutes before I did it. Same. I was just, I was just like, oh, I guess I'll just sit here. And they're like, no, no, Chen, you have to like go greet them. And I was like, <laughs> I have to what? Yeah. And like at my school, um, because you're starting in like a new semester, there will probably be some like other new teachers, not just you. So there were two other new teachers and me, and we had to like, like go like one by one in a line in front of everyone and like introduce ourselves. Yeah. So keep it short and sweet. Um, most likely, I mean, it depends on your school, but the teachers like English competencies are very different. So, you know, don't try to get crazy with it. Like this is not when you need to like talk about your family no, no, and stuff. Yeah. This is just like, hello, nice to meet you. I'm really excited to be here. Um, I look forward to working with you guys. Please take care of me, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> it's suggested you bring a present um so some people will bring like goods from home that are like specialty goods i know people who brought like mugs with their country on it or like maple syrup if you're from canada or taffy if you're from florida um i actually was in taiwan before i came so i brought pineapple cakes i bought in taiwan usually they suggest buying something but if not you can do it patented 
yeah and um because like i i researched this before i came because i wasn't sure like whether i should bring something because some people said like you should bring something and then like give it to them on the first day of school and then some people were like no like that it makes them uncomfortable sometimes it's uncomfortable or like you don't know how many co-teachers you have you don't know how many vice principals you're gonna have so then um i chose just to like wait and see how many people i needed to give something to and then um with my first paycheck i bought um like the special bread for everyone at my school which is also a traditional thing in korea when you get your first paycheck to buy something. yeah yeah so it's really dependent on you i mean i would definitely at least wait not the first day you get there to bring your gifts if you did bring gifts just because again you don't know how many people are like in the vicinity i have four co-teachers two vice principals and a principal that's not like a regular setup but I, luckily I'd been prepared enough to just bring like extra things, but like you never know. We also have instances where if you go to school, whether you have to teach like right when you get there the first day, I luckily did not have to do that because I would have been thrown to the sharks <laughs> in that instance. Um, but I taught the following week. So I only, like I had one day where I like greeted everyone and then that was like the, f and then like the next week I started teaching. But some people have to like sit in the classroom and observe for like yeah. a week. Yeah, so like I, uh, my first day was a Friday and um, I just went in, it was lunchtime. I greeted the principal and the vice principal and then we walked through the hallways and it was literally like a parade of Peyton and all the students were like, they were like all like running and like looking out of the windows and they were like, hi, and I was like, hi, guys. <laughs> and the new teacher was like, <laughs> And then um, my co-teacher took me shopping and then I just went home. Um, and then so the next week, Monday and Tuesday, I observed. So I just sat in the class and watched my co-teacher teach them. And then Wednesday, I started teaching with like the textbook. I started teaching on Monday. <laughs> so thrown to the sharks. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't prepare anything, but she was just like, okay, we're going to do this and this and this. And I was like, I don't know what these things are. <laughs> um, but you'll figure it out. It's really funny, I think. The first, if I could like go back to my first week, I'm sure I was just like frazzled. Like yeah. so many things are happening. And I was like, look and say, what does that even <laughs> mean? Like, <laughs> chant. <laughs> um so yeah you'll figure things out it's like it's a bit nerve-wracking but it all works out in the end yeah give me some of that so our give me some of that as we were talking about with gift giving are you would you rather um bring gifts from home in advance or wait and buy something once you get to korea with your first paycheck um so like maybe you're from a place that has something really cool and you want to bring that yeah, I didn't. Or maybe you're from a place like I'm from, and I'm like, <laughs> when am I gonna like, bring them from here? The other thing too is you have to think your suitcase is really heavy. Yeah, so that's true like, too. I was like, I don't know if I can fit things in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, keep that in mind. I mean, some people bring really cool things. Yeah. So it's just yeah, it's just. I think it really is like dependent on like where you're from mm -hmm. too. So let, let us, us know. know down below. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next. Time. Bye.